In this tutorial, you will learn what a call number is, how to read a call number, and how to locate books at the Killam Library. Let's begin in the Novanet catalog, where you have found a book you would like to read. If you're not familiar with how to search for books in Novanet, check out our tutorial on finding books in Novanet, link in the description. Each book has a unique call number assigned to it, which tells you where you can find it on the shelf. The call number will appear on the book itself, and it will also appear in the Novanet catalog under the title and author. These call numbers are assigned according to a classification system. The Killam, Law, McRae, and Sexton libraries use the Library of Congress classification system. The Kellogg Health Sciences Library uses the National Library of Medicine classification system. These systems assign letters to different subjects. For example, social sciences are assigned to H and language and literature is assigned to P. Books on the same subject are put in the same range, so if you find a book on your topic on the shelf, you can browse nearby items to find related titles. The book we're going to find today is Pride and Prejudice, and the call number is PR 4034 P7 2006. The first letter of the call number is P, which means it falls into the language and literature category. The second letter means that this book has been assigned a subcategory. PR, in this case, means that the book has been assigned the subcategory of English literature. The call number also tells you exactly where the book is housed in the library. For example, in the Killam Library, all books with a call number starting with P are located on the third floor. How did I know that? There are floor plans located at the library service point at, and at each stairwell. You can also enter Killam Library call numbers into a search engine to get this information. On each floor, books in the stacks are arranged alphabetically and numerically from top to bottom and left to right. Library of Congress call numbers should be read one line at a time, and there can be up to five lines in a call number. Books are arranged in alphabetical order by the first group of letters. Our call number begins with PR, placing it between PQ and PS. Let's have another look at the call number. After the first one or two letters, the second line of the call number is read numerically as a whole number. In this case, 4034. So if we're searching through the shelves in the PR section, we will work our way all the way up to 4034 before we have to read the next line of the call number. The next line of the call number, P7, contains a letter and a number. The letters are shelved alphabetically, which is easy enough. From PR 4034, we will now make our way to the letter P. However, the numbers are treated as decimals, so this may require closer attention. The 7 in P7 is actually read as 0.7. So 0.7 would come before 0.72 because it is the larger fraction. Sometimes there is a fourth line, which is read the same as the third line, and sometimes there is even a fifth line with dates and other annotations, such as 2006. When you retrieve your item, bring it to the service point along with your student ID. The standard loan period for books is three weeks. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.